This is a very strange story, and I think right off the off the bat, I do have to say that we have no hard confirmation of it. But let's still, let's go through the details a little bit for you. Washington Post, just the past uh, hour or two, uh, reporting this according to their own sources that when Joseph Yun, the uh, U.S. Uh, special envoy to uh, North Korea, traveled to Pyongyang to uh, to pick up Otto Warm beer. Uh, who was the uh, university student who was uh, uh, imprisoned starting in 2016 for the simple act of uh, taking down a propaganda uh, poster. He was uh, given a bill by the North Korean officials for $2 million for hospital care for the handling of uh, Mr. Warm Beer uh, in, in their own custody. Uh, in fact, it's believed that he went into the comatose state uh, before dying. Uh, because of the handling uh, of uh, Mr. Warmbier by uh, the North Korean officials. According to the Washington Post, uh, Joseph Yun actually signed this agreement that $2 million would be paid, but the Washington Post goes on to say that uh, no payment is, was recorded from the Treasury Department in 2017, and it's not clear where this stood after that, whether anything was paid at all. We reached out to the White House. And Sarah Sanders says, in fact, that uh, uh, the White House does not report on, uh, does not comment on hostage negotiations. They're very clear about that. We also reached out to the State Department. State Department also referring back to the White House. So at this moment, we don't have confirmation that this uh, question was asked and any confirmation that any, any money changed hands. But I can tell you I'm familiar with the correspondent of Washington Post, and, uh, and she is a, a reliable source. So it's something certainly to be followed. Uh, meanwhile, Melissa, uh, sticking with North Korea, uh, Kim Jong-un, the North Korean leader, and Vladimir Putin, a Russian president, meeting for the first time today in the, in the eastern Russian city of Vladivostok. Uh, the mood, generally friendly, a little bit formal uh, from Kim Jong-un. They said, uh, yes, yeah. so we, we spoke about the conditions on the peninsula, and uh, Russian President uh, Putin saying that he, he, that is Moscow, and Washington agree on the fact that uh, North Korea should get rid of its nukes, but uh, throwing a little bit of a, a monkey wrench into things, uh, Putin said, uh, went on to say that the uh, security must be guaranteed uh, of uh, North Korea by not just the United States, but by other countries, including Russia, perhaps in some sort of a six nation agreement. So uh, moving things forward a little bit, but pulling back a little bit too, Putin also says that he will be speaking with President Putin, President, excuse me, Trump, as well as President Xi of of China to brief uh, them on this mission. As for uh, Kim Jong Un, well, he got a little bit more face time on the global stage. But again, a, a couple of uh, developments on uh, the North Korean situation, which uh, continues to trouble diplomats in the U.S. and all around the world.